Hey Miguel, it's Sebastian. I got your valve here and uh, I've been playing with it and uh, I just wanted to kind of run through everything that I found with it. Um, it I can't seem to find any issues with it, so I'm just going to go over what, um, what some of the features are to give you an understanding of how this thing actually works. So, um, so it's on right now, as you can see, pressure is at 7 bar on the, on the valve and then I got pressure on the uh, downstream at 7 bar as well. So I'm going to... Uh, first talk about manual and auto. This valve has a manual mode and an auto mode. I just turned it off right now. Um, I got a switch here for it, but uh, how you put it in the manual mode versus auto mode is uh, through the wiring, through the connector that's located behind here. I don't know exactly what you guys have it as, so I'm just going to go over it both ways and then just explain how it works. So it's in manual mode right now. What that means is uh, once I turn the power on, hold on. So the system performs a self check, the safety relay here does a self check. The uh, dump valve also does a self check. You hear that little puff of air. What that's doing is it's doing a little cycle there just to make sure that everything's running correctly. So once you start the valve, that's what should happen. You should have a green light on top of the valve right here, which uh, you won't be able to see, but there is, and uh, it's ready to go. So in manual mode, what that entitles is it needs to have a start button. I think you guys do it on your touch screen. So once I push start, uh, the valve ramps up. We got to seven uh, bar there and seven bar here. Um, so with manual mode, if you have an e-stop situation, let's say like I'm going to do right now, I reset the e-stop button here, but the valve is still off. So in manual mode, you need to manually start the valve again. All right. So that's how manual mode works. Um, one thing about manual mode, uh, the start button, if you hit it 0.1 seconds like that, it won't start. If you hold it for more than four seconds, the valve will not start as well. That's just a built-in safety feature. And uh, once in a while, I'll come across a situation where somebody's poking at the uh, HMI and not starting it. So you just had to hold it a little bit longer than 0.1 seconds and the valve will start. Um, all right, so that's that. Um, let's test out a few little wonky situations that could potentially happen. So these, these plugs here are for the enable signals. They look like this because this is a demo, right? So if I were to, let's say, short circuit one of the, uh, one of the enables, or the, sorry, the e-stop in this particular case, it should dump, which it just did. So that functions correctly. Um, at this point, you have to press start again, and it'll start up. All right, um, so another scenario that happens that I come across once in a while is, let's say the signal from your PLC here um, shorts out or isn't the correct duration to start the valve. The valve will dump, and it's supposed to do that. And um, what happens is now we have a fault on the, uh, the uh, safety relay here, right? So I have a green light here that's telling me I'm good to go with this thing. So if I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to start it, it ain't starting. The reason why it's not starting is because there's a fault in the safety relay right here. So I have to reset this safety relay before this thing's gonna give me a start. So if I go to reset the whole system, which I have it under a button right here, the safety relay's performing its little self check. The dump valve performs its safe, little safety check. And then uh, um, all I can do is press start and we're back up to seven bar on both sides. All right, so that's uh, manual mode. Automatic mode, um, I'll show you automatic mode right now. I just do it with a switch, but like I said, it's wiring behind here that you do it. What automatic mode does is, um, let me just start it up here. So automatic mode automatically scans the system to see if there's any faults, and it will reset automatically if there's nothing, no faults or situations present. So for example, as soon as I hit the e-stop, it's gonna dump. As soon as I reset the e-stop, it starts back up again. So that's what automatic mode does, and um, hopefully that explains it. So that's that. So here's another scenario that I come across, and I think this is what you guys are experiencing, but, um, but let, let me explain this. And uh, hold on, let me, let me turn it back to manual mode here. Um, there we go. I think what's happening is you guys are having an issue with the pressure um, uh, getting up really high. So Right now, the system's set up. I got pressurized or build up pressure right here. It will build up pressure, okay? Um, there's a soft start on here with a screw, and I can adjust that to kind of go really slow. Like in this case, it's going really slow. Um, or I can uh, speed it up really quickly. But what, what happens is in certain scenarios is if you have a downstream leak, I'm gonna stop this. I'm gonna take this gauge out to mimic a downstream leak, right? If I have, let's say, a blow-off nozzle that happens to be on when an emergency situation happens, when I go to reset this thing, when I go to reset this thing, 
the, the, the pressure cannot build up because it's flowing out of here, right? Now, if the pressure can't build up, chances are it's not going to move the valve to close this. I, I hope you can hear me. It's not going to move the valve to close this and build up pressure. Even if I crank this thing full throttle, Okay, you, saw, you probably couldn't hear me, but when I crank this thing full throttle, this pressure's trying to build up to two bar, um, but still, all the uh, remaining pressure is kind of escaping the atmosphere, and then this system will not start, essentially, because it's escaping the atmosphere. So that's what might be going on, but anyways, long story short, this thing functions as it should. Um, I've been playing with it before I even started videotaping, and uh, I'll return it to you, and then what I think we should do is take it to the next step to see... Um, if we can figure out exactly where your problem is and correct it from there. So thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, uh, just email me back.